Okay, I wet these hands to sort of give you an idea. Now, here's the first one we carved, which is the hand that would be away from the body. Now, if if it's a closed fist, in other words, then then your your hand or your fingers would simply close around like that, in other words, and the thumb would come over it like this, in other words. But this is just a hand at the side of the body, in other words, that you have. And that's the way to carve it. Then what we did, we carved this hand from, if you just want, like, like for instance, if you just want to lay on, the, on, on your, the stomach side or the side like that, in other words, that, that is how the hand is carved like that. And then we went to this side. Now, this hand would be a lot longer, in other words. I think that uh, that's just sort of a short version. But my, the, the end of the hand would come out further than that, in other words, uh, uh, with, but it's just a general idea, and that's where the hand would be, for instance, laying up against the uh, chest like that. But there are so many ways to carve a hand, but I try to find the easiest way for you to carve it, and then as you shape it. But one of the things when you're carving a hand, like anything else, and once again, I do mine in the flat plane style, so I do a lot of extra cuts maybe, but look at your hand. Whenever you're carving, look at it. Put it in the positions that you want to carve, in other words, and then look at your hand. Now, a lot of people, when they have this type of, 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 of hand and they want to put something in it, They'll do that, and then they'll drill a hole through there, and then they'll put the uh, uh, axe or whatever, in other words. Uh, but if they're going to put the axe, they're going to have the hand completely closed like this almost, see. So there are many ways to carve a hand, but these are the three general ideas of a hand by the side, a hand that just rests on the stomach or on the, on the, the hip or whatever it is, and then the hand that, that uh, it, it moves like it is like this against the body. So it helps you sort of see. In other words, what I'm trying to explain to you more than anything, it doesn't have to be a difficult thing to carve a hand. But as you saw as I did this, there are some easy ways, and I tried to find the simplest and easiest way to teach you how to carve a hand. Now, there are other people that, uh, for instance, on Wood Carving Illustrated, Lynn has a tutorial on his website. Uh, Lynn is a fantastic uh, carver and uh, he does mostly uh, western pieces so if you want to do a western piece uh, Lynn has a perfect wonderful uh, tutorial of how to carve a, uh, a hand but I wanted to just basically show you in the flat plane style how I carve hands and uh, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be taking certain parts of the body every once in a while and showing you different ways you can carve them. And this is just a little small tutorial on how to carve a hand or how to, uh, uh, and if you want it flatter, you can do that or whatever. But this is it. And I wetted them so you could see them a little bit better. And uh, just practice. Practice carving hands, looking at them. Look, go on Lynn's website, see how he carves a hand. And uh, uh, this will help you somewhat of, of, of how to do it. Okay? Well, I appreciate you tuning in, and I hope this has been a good uh, uh, lesson for you and uh, how to do this, and uh, it will help you a lot. And the main thing is just practice, practice, practice. And before you know it, you'll have it down. God bless now. And uh, I want to thank you for all your prayers. Things are turning around. People are finally getting trailers down here. They're living... Uh, the man that was living with me, he finally got him an apartment, and uh, so uh, he's being blessed by the Lord, I'll tell you what. So God bless all of you, and uh, uh, just happy carving. Be safe, okay?